everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I am doing a three slash four month update on little Magnolia here. She is sleeping. She is all snuggled up and I just want to give you guys a little update on her just to go over her measurements and everything that she's accomplished. So far I totally skipped her three month. I mean she came home and then it was like she had her three month and life was crazy. So I missed that one, but I'm doing a four month and so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Everything's finally right. The dark made peace with the light. sheet here that says some of her measurements. I don't have all of her measurements from her three month um because this is her four month one but I do have her weight. So her weight on her four month appointment was eight pounds 13.2 ounces. Man she has really grown since then. Um, so yeah, she was eight pounds, 13.2 ounces. And some things that happened during that time is, well, one, she came home, which was awesome. Um, also she switched from a preemie nipple to a size one nipple. We were able to do that pretty quickly. And she went from eating two ounces to eating two and a half ounces. And she was just continuing to grow. At that point, when she turned three months, she was really, her corrected age was really only like just a few weeks old, like two weeks old. So she really wasn't doing a whole lot at that point. She was really just sleeping and growing. So the next month was a lot more exciting. We had a lot more going on. Um, so at her four month appointment, I got all of her measurements. So her four month appointment, her length was 22.5 inches long. That is insane. Cause if you think about it, she was born at 15 inches. That's a lot. Um, her weight was 10 pounds, 13.6 ounces. Big girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, she grew a lot in that month and her head circumference was 14.75. Um, her percentiles, she's in the 84th. Okay, so actually, the way that it works with preemies is you have an adjusted age um, and then their actual age. So for her actual age, she's not even on the chart. She's like not even, she's almost to the one percentile. But if you do her adjusted age, um, that's what these percentiles are. So in her length, she is in the 84th percentile. In her weight, she's in the 78th percentile, and her head circumference is in the 38th percentile. So she's got a little head, even though to me, I think it looks kind of big. Yeah, you gonna wake up a little bit? You gonna open your eyes and say hello? So some really fun things that happened um, during that four month was she started smiling, like, a lot. Like, she smiles a lot more. Um, also, we found out that she has a milk protein allergy, so she had been really, really fussy, like, constantly. We couldn't really settle her down. If she was awake, she was crying. She wasn't taking her bottles. Um, where she had been taking two and a half, she would, like, maybe take an ounce. And then she had blood in her stool, so we found out she had a milk protein allergy, and we went, we got, um her formula switched and we saw the gastro doctor and he switched her to a new formula and she has been doing so much better. Um, she's up to taking about three to three and a half ounces and she's still on the number one nipple. She's doing good with that um, and just smiling. She's so much happier with this new medicine and she sleeps great. Um, Oh, so during her three month, she started, she would like, every now and then, she would go five hours um, in the night without eating. But now it's pretty consistent. Um, every single night, 
um, she will sleep for five hours, like do at least one five hour stretch, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm going to sleep a lot earlier, that way I can wake up and feed her, but yeah. Are you just stretching? Are you stretching? Yeah. Um, at her three month appointment is actually when we noticed this bump over her eye. If you guys can see that giant bump over her eye. And at that point it was actually just a small, small little ball. And I noticed it actually the day, like right after her appointment, like that night it kind of popped up. And so the next day we went to the doctors and he said just keep an eye on it. And it grew um, a lot. So. We went back to the doctor and we still are not sh completely sure what it is. We had an ultrasound done on it and they think it's a cyst. Um, so we have to get an MRI done on it to see if that's really what it is or if it's a hemangioma under the skin. And also we had her liver, um, an ultrasound of her liver to see if they, that had hemangiomas on it and that was also a little inconclusive so we're getting an MRI done on that as well just to see what's going on yeah we got to see what's going on with that body um and since those appointments she's actually grown another hemangioma it's in her mouth in the corner of her mouth new ones are popping up which is not that great um because I, I think that means more it's more likely that she does have them on her liver what else what else would you do Oh, she had her first like kind of surgery. She had her tongue clipped and she had her tongue tie clipped and her lip tie clipped. So, I mean, it didn't really change her eating that much. I don't think. I mean, I feel like she still kind of chomps. She kind of sucks a little bit better, but um, she still kind of just does that chomping motion. Maybe she's just used to it. And she gets milk out, so I, mean, that's, I guess that's all that matters. You wanna say hello? You want to say hello to your friends? Say hello. Say hello, pretty girl. Oh, you can't say hello. You can't say hello. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you see yourself in the camera? Who's that pretty baby? that pretty baby so actually at the time of filming this she's not even she's almost two months old corrected age so she's doing really really good her neck strength is really really strong she is in this little wrap thing this is what she sleeps in she was actually just sleeping that's why I had her in it but it really helps calm her down and it helps her because she still has that like startle reflex of like smacking herself in the face um, this is actually what they would put her in in the NICU, and it really, really helps. She likes it. She feels secure. Yeah, you do. You feel secure, and you like it. Are you sleepy? You say, Mama, stop talking. I'm tired. Oh, goodness. You want to give Mama a kiss? Oh, give Mama a kissy. Want to give Mama a kissy? <laughs> give Mama some kisses. You're just going to burp in Mama's face. Is that what you're going to do? He's going to burp in Mama's face. Um, she has started like recognizing our voices, which is really cute. And she loves to stare at Robert. She just really loves to look at him. When she gets her eyes on him, she will not turn away. She loves looking at him. But she is such a great baby and we have just been soaking it all up haven't we yeah just soaking it all up and you're just the sweetest all right guys that's gonna be it for us today i hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already and leave a happy friendly comment below we'll see you guys next time bye say bye bye baby girl bye bye